Imagine waking up tomorrow to find the government knocking on your door, ready to convert your home into a temporary shelter for immigrants. Sounds dystopian, doesn't it? Yet, this is the kind of fear that circulates among many U.S. citizens today. In an era marked by sensational headlines and rapid policy changes, distinguishing between myth and reality when it comes to property rights and immigration impacts has never been more critical. This essay delves into these issues, uncovering the truths buried beneath layers of speculation and concern. Government control over properties, myth or reality. The thought of the U.S. government forcibly seizing private properties to accommodate immigrants is a chilling one. This fear is not entirely baseless, as there have been instances where hotels and other buildings were requisitioned to temporarily house immigrants. However, these actions are typically based on specific agreements and are far from the comprehensive takeover some fear. In reality, such measures are part of broader emergency responses, often agreed upon with property owners and underpinned by legal contracts. They are exceptions, not the norm, and are implemented under specific legal and ethical guidelines. The difference between these factual occurrences and the myths circulated in public discourse is vast, leading to unnecessary panic and resistance. Public confusion is further fueled by sensational media reporting, which often lacks the nuance of actual policy and law. Understanding the legal frameworks and actual instances helps demystify the government's role in property usage. The Role of Immigration in Housing Market Dynamics The narrative that immigration directly leads to higher mortgage rates is simplistic and misleading. While it's true that increased population can drive up demand for housing, immigrants typically do not have immediate access to mortgage markets due to a lack of credit history and financial resources. Moreover, other significant factors like Federal Reserve policies, interest rates, and overall economic conditions play a more definitive role in housing market dynamics. By focusing solely on immigration, we overlook these broader economic elements that significantly influence the housing market. Biden Administration's Immigration Policies President Biden's immigration reforms are aimed at managing the flow of immigrants more efficiently and humanely. Proposed changes include quicker rejections of asylum claims from individuals with criminal histories deemed a threat to national security, aiming to streamline the process and reduce unauthorized crossings. These policies have sparked debate on their potential effectiveness and the balance between security and humanitarian concerns. Critics argue that while they might reduce the number of unauthorized entries, they do little to address the root causes of migration such as violence and poverty in home countries. Different U.S. cities have adopted varied approaches to manage the challenges posed by immigrants. For instance, New York City offers prepaid debit cards to immigrants, aiding their initial settlement, while California extends health benefits regardless of immigration status. These local measures reflect diverse strategies based on the capacity and demographic needs of the communities. They also highlight the significant role local governments play in immigration, often filling the gaps left by federal policies. Immigrants bring both challenges and opportunities to the U.S. economy. On one hand, they provide essential labor in various sectors, contributing to economic growth and diversity. On the other, they also require resources such as housing, health care, and education, which constrain local infrastructures. The net economic effect of immigration is complex and multifaceted, involving short-term costs and long-term benefits. Understanding this balance is crucial for crafting policies that leverage the strengths and mitigate the challenges of immigration. The integration of immigrants into U.S. communities is not just an economic issue, but a cultural one. The arrival of diverse groups brings cultural richness, but can also lead to tensions and resistance among local populations. Community initiatives aimed at promoting understanding and integration can alleviate these tensions. However, the success of such efforts varies widely across different regions, influenced by local attitudes, resources, and the characteristics of the immigrant populations. Property rights in the U.S. are strongly protected by law, including against undue government interference. 
The legal framework provides a robust defense against the illegal seizure of property, contrary to what some myths suggest. Understanding these protections helps reassure property owners and clarifies the legal limitations of government actions regarding private property and immigration-related requisitions. Debunking myths requires confronting misinformation directly with facts. Common misconceptions include the fear of widespread property seizure by the government and the overestimation of immigrants' immediate impact on the housing market. By addressing these myths through informed discussions and evidence-based information, we can foster a more rational and less fear-driven approach to immigration and property rights issues. Media plays a pivotal role in shaping public opinion, for better or worse. Sensational reporting can exacerbate fears and misunderstandings regarding immigration and property rights. Promoting accurate, balanced reporting and encouraging critical consumption of media content are essential steps toward a more informed public discourse on these critical issues. Effective immigration policy should balance enforcement with compassion addressing both the immediate needs of immigrants and the long-term interests of U.S. citizens. Recommendations include enhancing the legal pathways for immigration, improving the integration processes, and ensuring that local governments have the necessary resources to manage the impacts of new arrivals. Moreover, property rights need to be clearly communicated and legally upheld to prevent misinformation and undue panic among property owners. The myths of governmental overreach and property rights and the oversimplified views on immigration's impact on housing markets are debunked through careful analysis and factual understanding. As the U.S. continues to navigate these complex issues, informed discourse and thoughtful policy development will be crucial in shaping a balanced approach that respects both the rights of citizens and the needs of immigrants. The road ahead is paved with challenges but also opportunities for growth and improvement in how we manage one of the most pressing issues of our time, immigration and its implications on society and economy. In this essay, we have explored the intricate dynamics of U.S. property and immigration policies, separating myths from reality and providing a comprehensive overview of the current situation and its implications. As we continue to witness developments in these areas, it is imperative that both policymakers and the public engage in informed discussions based on factual information and nuanced understanding. The future social and economic landscape of the United States will undoubtedly be shaped by how effectively we handle these challenges, balancing security, economic needs, and humanitarian concerns. Your thoughts, insights, and active participation are essential as we navigate these complex issues. Remember to stay informed, question the sources of your information, and contribute constructively to the discourse. Remember to stay informed, question the sources of your information, and contribute constructively to the discourse. Like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more insights on such impactful topics.